Hey everybody, Jessica here. Welcome back to Just Unsolicited. Um, so today we're going to talk about baggage because like we're very familiar with that term, you know, like, oh, got so much baggage or I don't want to be with someone who's got a lot of baggage or just in whatever reference, you know, but we all are familiar with the term is my point. Um, and it just kind of got me thinking about if you don't truly forgive um, the people who have done you wrong throughout your life, um, you can't truly be happy. Like, I don't, I don't care how you paint it or try to perpetrate it. I don't care um, how many smiles you put on. I don't care, you know, you got the best clothes, smile on your face, best hair, you know, best jewelry, whatever. Um, if you haven't healed and forgiven those people because the forgiveness isn't for them, it's for you because that's the only way that you can heal is by forgiving. And um, I always like come up with like these little pictures, like my friends will tell you, like these little like things to try to incorporate what I'm trying to say because I never feel like I explain myself well. Um, so like the picture that comes to mind is like, okay, so if you had a glass of water, right? And that's your happiness. It's pure, it's clear, you know, like transparent. There's nothing, you know, you're just, you're great. Everything's good, right? And we know like Kool-Aid powder, right? Like you can't even see the grain, like it's so fine. And one of those will like change the whole color of it, right? So any little bit of unforgiveness, which in turn is unhealed trauma, um, is going to change that makeup that whole color like you'll be at you'll you know you can see it and uh not everyone can see it but um those aware and you know um with that that ability i guess i'll call it you know they can see through that so and we know you know those kind of people like they look at you and you feel like they can like see your soul type of stuff you know you don't want to make eye contact with them because it just kind of makes you uncomfortable type of thing um so that's kind of where it goes to this baggage thing. So I was um, thinking like the best way to like kind of describe it is like, okay, obviously we're all going to carry our experiences, you know, with us through life, right? But it doesn't mean that it has to be necessarily baggage, right? You could totally like, and I'm going to put this in another way to maybe like so it makes sense to you or easier for me like to feel like it makes sense to you anyway so you know you can collect stuff along the way whatever and um coming out of childhood let me just start there coming out of childhood you're gonna have experiences that that sucked right um whether it was from like your parents or school or something you know whatever it is and some of that shit is gonna be like really small throw it in a backpack, you know, and you carry that into your adult life or into college, young adult life, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you don't really think much of it because just this backpack and backpacks really don't feel, you know, that heavy because it's, you know, got it on both shoulders, kind of evened out, balance, whatever. So you really don't know to even heal yourself, you know, at these, at that early stages of your life. However, there's going to be some that head into that early adulthood with suitcases already just depending on what you know what you had to deal with as a child and of course you know again you're not going to know to deal or how to heal from all of those things you know we're not equipped with that knowledge you know you got to learn that as you go um so it's kind of why um through every stage of life and every transition um I'm going to use the term leave your baggage at the door. So every every new journey, every new experience you're about to take, you're going into a new door, right? You can't walk in with all this baggage. It's not going to happen. So as you go through this healing process, and that includes like forgiving people, it doesn't even matter. They deserve your forgiveness. It's not for them. It is for you to heal so you don't have this baggage and you can go through these doorways easier. Have you ever seen somebody try to come through a doorway with like a whole bunch of luggage? It's a hot mess. I've done it. It doesn't work. Like, literally, I've done it. Um, but, uh, so, through, you know, before you reach these doorways, hopefully, you've done the healing. So, you've learned to drop stuff to the wayside that, you know, you've healed from and that it's no longer a trigger. Um, or you don't trigger, you know, it's not going to have the same reaction, 
right? Because you've healed. Like, it doesn't mean that it still doesn't like, oh, man, that sucked or, you know, however. But it doesn't have the same impact on you, right? And uh, so going back to, you know, this luggage type thing, baggage. Um, so then, you know, if you think about it, like in an airport, if you go in, you know, on a, to go check your, not even to check your bags, but when you first go to an airport, if you don't have a lot of luggage, you don't have to check anything, right? Psh, go right on, easy breezy. Um, however, if you're going to take plane, ascend, go in a new direction, new life, you know, these normally when you're on a plane, you're going to like a, do a wonderful thing, usually vacation or whatever. But my point is this, the more baggage you have, that shit is going to cost you, right? Like, and if you think about that in a spiritual way and in a life way, if that kind of painted a picture for you, um, the more baggage that you carry on throughout your life, eventually you're not going to be able to get through those doors. You're going to have too much because you never learn to let anything go. You never learn to forgive. You never learn to heal. Eventually you're going to have so much shit. You're not even going to be able to, to move yourself. Like you're literally going to be stuck, stagnant in the ground, pot with all of your own shit piled on top of you because you're the victim, right? That's going to be a whole different vic video is um, this victim mentality that people seem to get them stu themselves stuck in where it's not their fault, you know, and they keep making excuses so they don't do the healing that needed to be done. But that's a whole different topic. We're going back to heal for you um, through forgiveness. Okay, because that is the only way that you're truly going to be able to release that baggage and fit through that next door, that next opportunity. It's the only way you're going to be able to keep going, keep moving forward. It's the only way you're going to be able to get on that plane and ascend without paying a hefty ass cost because carrying that baggage around is going to get expensive. Um, and thinking about it like, in terms of our life, you're going to block blessings. You're going to ruin relationships. You're going to um, hurt those uh, people around you, even if you didn't mean to hurt them, like whatever, um, because you've carried all this baggage with you, you know, but you're happy, you know, like, but you're not. <laughs> so um, how, you know, how do you reach like real happiness? It doesn't mean like, oh, you ignore the shit that's been done or you push it down. You have to heal. You have to forgive. Well, you have to forgive. And then through that forgiveness is healing kind of coincides. And, um, you know, and you're not even going to recognize it on a daily basis. It's not like one of those things that you're going to notice immediately. You're not going to notice until, you know, you're, something happens that normally you would have reacted the same way and you don't that same reaction isn't there anymore or you know a certain situation doesn't make you feel the same anymore and that's your your healing you know and um that's the only way that you're truly going to be happy now i understand a thousand percent that there's things in your life that are so traumatic that um that you you know the heat, there's always going to be like that dark place. It's always going to make you feel a certain way, but it doesn't mean that you can't heal from it. Um, and through that healing, again, you'll reach like real happiness. You'll find happiness in new things, you know, because I haven't experienced everything in life. So I guess I should say I'm speaking from everything that I've been through, and I've been through a lot of shit, but I haven't experienced everything. There's a couple things that lord you know and source have have um saved me from thank god um however my point is this don't um take all that baggage with you because you're not going to be able to like fit through those doors so leave your baggage you know outside the door it's not welcome <laughs> it's not welcome on your next step on that next journey on that you know you can't move forward with all those bags you just can't it's not possible was um, Erica say, you know, bag lady, don't let all those bags break your back. And that's, I love her. But yeah, that's really what it is. You're going to have to learn to, to let that stuff go, to put it where it, it needs to go and do that healing. Because um, if you haven't, then you're still really just blaming everybody else. Because like I've said in previous videos, 
anything that's happened to you for the most part, for the most part, you know, if you're a child and some shit's happened to you, that's not your fault. But everything else, that shit, like, you gotta own it. Like, if you find yourself in bad situations over and over and over, like, it's because you're allowing, you're not doing the healing and you are, um, vibing at the same level you know you're around people vibrating at the same level you are but we've talked about that in other videos so i'm not gonna go into that i just wanted you guys to um to heal forgive forgive heal leave the bags outside the door so you can go on to that next step of your life and journey and stop you know clouding your cup of happiness basically so all right happy monday y'all bye